Yo, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mod 7 with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, we have some fun things planned, like I always say at the beginning of these episodes. But we're going to be moving our bees into basically where I am now. Yep, we're just outside what we worked on last episode. And if you guys didn't see that, I highly recommend checking it out. But while you're here, go ahead and hit that like button. And, you know, a lot of you are unsubscribed. It really, really help, you know, with the YouTube algorithms if you subscribe and hit like. So if you want to do that, to be my guest. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and we need some uh, stairs. Uh, yes, here we go. The cut calcite stairs. Because we do need to go down a couple of blocks. And when we do that, we can build the platform. Where did my calcite go? Yeah, there we go. How did I miss those bricks? Anyway, let's go ahead and work on that. I did have elevators in my inventory. We're going to be doing something below here quite soon, which is going to be pretty cool because it's really quiet. Yeah, it's really quiet. Okay. So let's see. This is where it ends, right? I, I think I messed that up. Okay, um, I need to make sure that these are lined up actually. So we'll just do something kind of goofy like this. Okay, so that's good. Now, yes, we take these down like this. This is how we do it, perfect. All right, so we are on this level here, which is very good. Um, so we need to figure out where to start this. I'm going to guess... Uh, shoot. So let's see, so from the stair... Um, from this corner stair, right... Goes one, two, and then on that third one. Okay, we're doing some serious math here. One plus two equals three. You know, I honestly think this might be something I work out off camera, and then I'll just come back to you. Because, I mean, it's a circle. You guys know how to build circles, right? If not, go to Pixel Generator. It tells you how to build circles. Okay, guys, it, it, you got it. Okay, so we got the circle laid out here, looking really good. I'm a big fan of that. I want to go ahead and grab the building wand real quick and just bring these up just a tad so we can get a feel of what these are going to look like. Yeah, we didn't go there. So the cool thing is we're not going to be using the, the center area here. It's actually going to be in these corners. Uh, so I do need to see how we can get this to fit properly. So we're basically going to be putting them here. Uh, they're going to be in little like boxes here. They're not going to be too far out. Maybe. Um, I'll probably make these a little bit more of a dome this time. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So come out two, diagonal one. Like they don't even need that much space though. <laughs> it's a it's a bit overkill. Yeah, but that's basically where our bees are gonna be at. And yeah, so is this an even number? How is how is this even? How, wait, huh? This is odd. Where did I screw up? What? Maybe this is one too long? Oh, I think it is. Oh, oh no, this is all one too long. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got these fixed now, and I actually think we're going to go ahead and split these off a little bit, just like this. Um, yeah, I think this will look pretty good. Uh, and then we'll probably end up having to extend this out um, 
just like this. I don't know if I'm going to use glass yet. Uh, but yeah, if we're putting, if we're putting the beehive here. Yeah, it's going to look a little bit different than that one, but it should be around the same shape. We might, we might just extend it out over there so that way it matches or looks similar. Uh, but we'll worry about that later. But these are going to be each individual cells for each of our bees. And we are going to have normal bees in there too. So we'll be getting honey, which will be good. All right, so do we have any advanced oak behaves? Got an aluminum bee in that one. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to go ahead and make some more. Should we use a cool wood? I think we need to get an alchemy table somehow. For blue skies, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I need to go ahead, make quite a few of these, and we'll be back. So with a total of 53 of these guys, uh, you know, I'm thinking we don't actually need this front one. So it should make this actually feel a bit better. Um, so we'll only have them be two. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Okay, there'll be glass here. Don't worry. I'm just trying to get a feel for this. Um, and then we'll go up. We aren't going to put the the expansion box on it yet because I'm out of beeswax, in case you were wondering. And then this is where we'll have the next one. We'll have half slabs here up at the top. All right, and so that's one, two... All right, so it's three blocks in between. So one, two, three. And that's here. Okay, so this is kind of what it's going to look like, which is good. And then around the back here, this is where we'll take our items out. Yes, looking good. I like it. Um, probably going to switch up the blocks in here to something else. All right, I think some skystone bricks could look pretty good in here, you know, just to break up the pattern, really. And a little bit different color, not too much. These used to be my favorite blocks in the game, and they're, they're all right now. Um, but yeah. So we'll do that. Um, we're going to move this down a block. Oh, well. Like that. Okay, and then we're also going to color code each of the bees with their uh, perspective glass. I saw this by one of my Discord members by the name of Sativa420 Lord. Uh, yeah, they went ahead. They had a really cool design for this uh, where they color coded each of them. So we're going to kind of do something similar, um, but not exactly. So unobtainium, all right, we have quite a bit of that. Uh, we can pair that up with different colored glass. So we need purple glass. Actually, we'll probably do more of a magenta and we can do all of the magenta that we ever want because we're cool. Magenta stained glass. Perfect. And then because we have so many, I think we're actually going to go ahead and set up two chambers for uh, unobtainium and then for all the modium and vibranium, stuff like that. So it should be super productive. Uh, 
All right. And they will have the expansion boxes. Don't worry. Now, the goal is once they're in here, we won't have to worry about them, and they'll just be good to go forever. Okay, and then here, I think we'll do a border. And then, yeah, we'll do the half slab, half slab right there. That way there's, um, they're kind of stuck in there. And just like that, we've got a chamber done. It doesn't look too terrible having that down um, from out here. And then we'll have these different colors going up, but then our bees will be in here. They'll be close to our base, and we won't have to worry about them anymore. So we go from, f they'll be within four, which is fantastic. How many are they in now? Um, can we see them yet? Yes, yeah, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we'll get we'll basically get all of these loaded chunks back, which is great for our system. And yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start tearing this down. All right, so there's that. Um, if all of those bees, yeah, they all went back in. Can actually just grab them now. All right, so I keep wanting to call it manilium, but it's not manilium, manilium, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, who knows? Okay. So we have the expansion box, and now we have the oak beehive, which has all of our bees in it. So our unobtainium bees are now in here. I'm gonna teleport out because I don't feel like having to deal with them sneaking out. Let me just head on back over. And yes, check that out. Very cool. Huh. Thought I had one more upgrade than that. Anyway, that one's been set up for unobtainium. I mean, the bees are there. Hasn't really been set up. But now we just got to pump them into our system. See, we did have an auto crafting set up. Maybe we do something similar. Um, that might not be a bad idea. Let's set up filters, stuff like that. That'd be good. All right, guys. So it's actually been quite a bit of time since uh, I last recorded. Uh, some life things have happened, but we are back. And I've done a bit of work over here. As you can see, we got this little hole. Uh, I did finish this up. We're going to have 17 uh, different advanced, you know, beehives over here, which is going to be super duper cool. And if we do that all over here, it's going to total up to about 280 bees, which is crazy. So anyway, yes, we have down here now. And we're finally using the ethereal glass. This is going to be our breeding chamber uh, where we breed up the bees. And so it'll just be easier for them to stay in here and not, you know, wander out. And it's cool. And then I also have these guys I've set up. Uh, these are our flower, um, I guess a flower farm. It's pretty simple. You know, it just grows. This one isn't going to grow because this is getting butt powered. But I mean, we're getting quite a bit of flowers, so we don't really have to worry about this one not being like. It just looks good that we have it there. But yes, I really like it. I did choose the warped drawers to go with the warped planks. Uh, I just think it, it ties it all together. looks really good. We have been using them in different spots, so it just makes sense to have them. And then it kind of matches the ethereal glass, which is what I love.
But yeah, the next process is to actually set up a way to collect all of these. Now, I did set these guys up a little bit prematurely. Um, I want to make sure we can actually harvest everything, you know, and process it before we do that. So I actually think we're going to be using this area over here to set up all of our processing for it. So we're going to pull the items out of here and then send them over here. We might do it wirelessly and you know, just pull everything out and just shove it into a, like a, like a, a chest um, or like, sorry, not a chest, a ender chest like this one here. Um, and yeah, so uh, we might do that. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up now. I think that'll be a really like viable option, honestly. Okay, so we're going to need to go ahead and make quite a few of these centrifuges. Uh, I don't know how many we need to make, so I'm going to make quite a... Uh, three. Three total, that's what I'm going to make. No, we're going to make a lot more. So let me make a few of these here. Um, these shouldn't be too difficult, yeah. And then with the iron... So yeah, we have a, over a stack. We easily don't need that, but we're going to have a stack of these guys. And so we're gonna do kind of something that'll be, I guess, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, we're gonna alternate every other. Is gonna have one like we're just gonna have like a massive wall of these. Um, so I do want to go in probably three blocks. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah. So that'll be good, and that way it won't look like we won't have to rearrange too many things. Yeah. So here. And what I mean rearrange too many things is like if we were to try to set one up here, like this would be really tight to put one here. Like it wouldn't probably look that good. So we're just not going to do it. Um, so yeah, these will be the areas. It's all uh, on odd numbers. So we don't have to worry about like, oh, that is weird. I'm not used to the ethereal glass doing that yet. Um, but yeah, so this way it will be good. And then every other we will have a processing slot. And so these things are gonna have like max tier upgrades, like we'll be able to do that. And then one of the sides up there will be dedicated to just honeybees as well, because we do need to make a bunch of wax. So we might have one side, um, actually I'm looking at this, I don't wanna do it like this, because this is way too big. That's, there's a joke there, don't make it. Promise me you want to make it. Um, I want to have this kind of go back one, maybe look a little bit better. That would have been dangerous if I did that. Okay. So, oh shoot, I mined one too many. So we'll definitely have these guys here. I forgot, I, I didn't suppose to mine these. Uh, we'll definitely have these guys here, but how this will look will be a little different. We're gonna use some stairs, maybe. Whoops, messed. Mess that up. What have I messed up? Oh, I messed this guy up. I'm sitting here like, how did that go wrong? Okay, and that already feels better. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have the centrifuges be here. Um, maybe even not. Maybe we have them. Maybe we have them one block further back. Maybe that might look good. Okay, let's try that. And I figured we could use a sky stone. Or those are reinforced stone bricks, but sky stone um, to make that look better. How's this looking? I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So be something. Well, I won't put that, though. like, those need a special block to break them. So I won't do that just yet. But the depth will definitely help it not look so terrible. So we're definitely going to be focusing on that. Maybe we do this. Maybe we come down one block and up one block. Let's try that. So um, I recently beat the newest God of War game. And guys, that game is amazing if you haven't played it if you have the ability like because now it's on pc so like if you guys have the ability to play it like i would highly 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 recommend that game it is beautiful it is such an amazing game great story i love it um okay i don't i don't like that it's not even now we're probably going to do a block on top and then just have the stairs on the bottom because there is uh deep slate tiles down here so it won't look super crazy 
Okay, I'm, I'm liking, liking that. We'll put these here, give a little bit of structure. That still looks a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, let's set up a an ender chest to go ahead and grab them. Um, we're gonna have to have our own channel for it. So let's see here. What? Probably do yellow. Uh, yellow dye. So we're gonna make. Actually, yeah, we'll do yellow. Uh, yellow dye. Super easy because we have all of that stuff. So we're actually gonna make the wool. We have a bunch of string too, which is fantastic. So we can go like this. We can go like this. Bunch of yellow. Perfect. So let's go here. How many of these can we make? One. We can only make one. Not fun. Okay. And then I need to make more of these, but I need more of these. There we go. That is the dream. Living like Larry. So more eyes of Ender. Very good. More of the Ender pouches. Very good. And then we can make more of the yellow boys. Okay, that might have been a little too many, but we do need a lot of them, which is good. And then, oh, we're out of droppers. Ooh, we're out of cobblestone. Ooh, okay. So we have all that we need. Uh, very good. So we're simply, oh, let me sleep. Very good. So we're just going to put some item pipes going all the way down. Ooh. What was that thing up there? Did y'all see that? That was kind of weird looking. It's a bee! So we don't need this one. Whoop. Okay, so those are all getting pushed out. These guys are gonna start, oh, I forgot to light these up. <laughs> You're dead. We have so many skeletal bees, but I actually, <laughs> with our mob farm, I'm not gonna have to worry about these guys. So I don't need to worry. Cause like we're generating, so I think we had over a million bones which is really crazy, but we don't need to worry about that. And then just right here, we will have them go into this chest. So anything that's been made here will go here, but we need, we need, where are you? Some ender pearls, because we can expand the size of the ender chest with ender pearls. Like all of them on, oh geez. Well. Well, you get dead. Get dead. Okay. Why are you like this? There we go. Jeez Louise, maybe throw a bunch of them. But yeah, that should suffice. And then over here, we will set up another chest. <clears throat> this is where they will come out of. And we'll just do, let's see, because we have this, we can do this. Oh, I didn't need that one. Okay. So chest here. And, well, no, I, wanna, I want this to come out on one side. And so this will get pumped out over here and processed in. And then, <clears throat> hmm, let's see. So we can go like this. Let's check the combs. So like we'll get wax. Okay, so wax going into our system is okay. Um, the ingots, like we don't have, shoot.
Let's check out the combs. Cause, so, Cause like most of them, I believe like, Hmm. This becomes difficult. So we're going to have to have a buffer chest and then a crafter with filters on it to make this work how I want. Um, So here, we're gonna get two buffer chests for each side, and then we're gonna need some crafters. Okay, we've got four of these. That should be okay. And then I just need one of the normal ender chests. What are we missing? Okay, so we don't have this guy. Okay, we only need one. And then just some white wool. Perfect. One diamond. Get rid of the, so many stairs. Oh, shoot. I need some diamonds. Okay, this is going to be difficult. I don't want to lose all these guys. Okay. Okay, so that one is our private one. I almost forgot. That would have been bad. Then anyone could have just hopped into that and taken my stuff, but we're good. So let's we can put put uh, these guys back in, and then we can do this. And so power will be easy. We'll just deliver it to right or left, or even the back. Um, so that's simple. And then let's take these guys. Actually, probably just need one. And then into the buffer chest it goes. Like so. So you guys should have some in there. Yeah, we'll put a speed upgrade onto this guy soon. So it'll be much quicker of splitting those up. And then after they're done being processed, they go here. Perfect. Okay. So let me grab a item cell or an energy cell. Okay, so we can link, whoop, that's not the right one. We can link all these guys up along the back here for power. Like this. And then I'm just gonna put this here because it, it does act funny for some reason when you um, try to pull out of this from like more than one side with the energy pipes. But if you don't, it, it, it's just fine. And so there we go. We have a stuff being processed. Uh, it's going into this chest here. And let me think. We are at the limit of what we can build. I'm probably going to go around this with like one extra block just because it's already buttoned up. Um, so I don't have to worry too much about that. And then we'll have... The sky. I, mean, I need to get the sky stone to see like what, where we're going to have room. So give me a second here. Okay, I think if we put the sky stone bricks here, like so, this will still look pretty good. And then above and below, all we need is just these. 
like so. Yeah, I don't think that looks too terrible. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty dark, though. Might need to switch it up with, like, just stone brick. Might look pretty good. But, again, we're not using it anywhere else. So I think it's got, like, a subtle pattern change. Oh, well. But we can still see them. They look pretty good. They're still processing. So this is the room we have to deal with. Um, all right. So we need to pull items out. And we're going to put an item here, item duct here, boom, boom. And then we will place this here. That's a, oh, that doesn't need to be that one. This needs to be this one. So this will go down. That's our main input. Uh, and then we will filter what we're putting through. Let me go grab a filter. Um, so like we'll put red, st oh. Oh, yes, so we just need, we need two of these guys. So the upgrades, that will give us lots of fun. Um, okay. All right, so those will go into there. We will shoot. Um, I'm going to grab these for now and then maybe a wax. Because those will go in there anyway. We need this to go in there. Whitelist, add wax. So that will be whitelisted there. And then on this side, we're going to be pulling items out. We need to blacklist wax. Did I? I messed up. Ooh, blood moon. Fun time. Okay, so the wax. Like, we do have a big supply of it, but it's not the biggest supply. Okay. So, and then we're going to blacklist wax from going on this side. So it can't go here, it can only go here. We need to do that for everything that we need to filter to here. So like things like redstone, um, like I think the redstone comb is the big indicator of that. Because if we look here, yeah. So this produces straight up redstone. So like that's all we really need to do there. Which is good, very good. And then, yeah, we don't have the, well, we do have the option to pull the honey out, which wouldn't be a bad idea, and put it somewhere. And maybe make honeycombs and stuff like that out of it. So that's always an option. But okay, so now we have a crafter, which is very good. And so we can take this guy, say uses. Oh, we need to click here. Uses, set the filter, it will craft it once it has some power. And we just grab the power from there. Yep, we're still within our limit. And those are being crafted. Amazing. And all we got to do is disconnect that. Put it here. Disconnect uh, that. And pull items out of there. So that is our system. Now we can only do, I believe, nine different recipes here. So... We might need to make an orange version of this, like yellow and then orange. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And then here's where we'll process probably the honey if we can. Or maybe here, maybe here or here. Nah, definitely not here. But definitely over here, like we have some room, like we can put the honey processed here for like the, the certain honeycombs. But yes, we have nine total. And each of these are going to be their own. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we'll have eight different recipes. So we'll have one left over on this side, which will be good. And then... Hmm. We need one more. We need one more. Going out of block. Hmm. We might be able to do it on this side within there. But yeah, this system is officially good to go. So any kind, yeah, we also, we need to upgrade these pretty quickly. 
Uh, let's see about getting those upgrades, because that is going to be a necessity. Okay, so we have a couple of the upgrade bases here. Anti-teleportation speed. Yeah, so we need these guys. Um, we made one. Very good. At least one of them will be able to process faster. Again, when we put the normal bees in, this will be a lot quicker. Um, yeah, but these are going to have all of the speed upgrades. It's going to be fantastic. So let me see if I have any more over here that I can sneak. Because we're not utilizing this guy over here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and break this guy. Hey, look at that. We got some speed upgrades here for the other guys. Very cool. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Because we're not even using this, we don't need to worry about it. Okay. Perfect. All right, so now these are going to be processing them even quicker. We have our breeding chamber here. Um, yeah, maybe we put some kind of storage over here for our bees. I think is a good idea. I don't like how this looks entirely. I might put a half slab going across the top. It just it 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 looks abrupt here. I don't think I like it too much. But I really do like how this portion turned out. I think it actually looks really good. If you guys disagree, uh, let me know down in the comments if you think we could have done better. Because if you do, I'm probably wrong. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, that looks good. Let's go ahead and grab some more bees. Um, let's see, so we have our our unobtainium ones here. I think we're gonna do the, all the modium ones. No, we're gonna do um, the what are they called? The nep neptulium. Those certain bees, yeah. But it's nighttime now, so they're not going to be outside. They're going to be chilling in the hive. So we can grab them. And we're going to use light blue glass for them. It's going to look cool. Yeah, these guys over here. What are you? What kind of bees are you again? Vibranium, sorry. Neptulium. What the heck am I even thinking? Okay, so I got those. Oh, I need that. Yes. Okay, back to the bees. And it, this base is starting to look really good, guys. Holy cow, this is looking crazy. All right, so, oh, you gotta die. All right, so before we put them in there right away, we need, let's see, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. We need some light blue dye. Right, and then we need some light blue stained glass. Perfect. Now, did I use clear glass or is it just purple stained glass for that? Magenta, okay. So yeah, we have all that we need for the glass. Now, is it three tall? It was. All right, and then we need some of the vibranium. Is vibranium more of a cyan, or is it more of a cyan? Because, like, cyanite is light blue. I think we're going to switch to cyan glass. Yeah, we're going to switch to cyan. Okay. 
All right, and then now we're gonna put down the vibranium. I do think it does match the color a bit better. Um, so the vibranium goes here. And then we're actually gonna break this guy and this guy. And then, let's see, I believe, yeah. And then the expansion box. Okay, so the expansion box is gonna go in first. And then I'm gonna put this here temporarily. Um, yeah, there we go. So the bees won't be able to escape, which is good. And then we're gonna teleport, whoa, gonna teleport back to the base. But they didn't have a chance to escape. Can I sleep now? No. I was wondering, because sometimes I remember being able to do that, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so the vibranium bees are out. Perfect. And we're going to put all the modium on top of those guys, so I can probably just do that now and then worry about the half slabs. Um, we don't need that, that. Okay, so we have the half slabs in there for that. Beautiful. I forgot to grab the stupid... Deep slate tiles, because I need them. And we put these on top, and this rose down. Obviously, we need to put more vibranium bees over here, but now we have one set coming in. We should have, okay, nothing there. Are they being here? No, nope. okay, so they haven't processed anything yet, which is okay. Um, let me just double check here because they came out. Oh, let me see. I might need. There we go. Did that work? Yes. Okay. So those combs went in. It looks like it might be a little wonky. But yeah, they're going in good. Let me go ahead and throw a speed upgrade onto this export guy. There we go. That way it's just quick. We'll have to worry about it. And those are being processed. Amazing. And we do have some vibranium ingots too. Very cool. So use is here. Go like that. Bam. Those are going in. Good. Now vibranium has been automated over here. All in our base. Much closer. So we don't have to worry about loading something far away. And then eventually I want to have this. This looks terrible by the way. I'm going to have to get rid of this. Uh, or make this look better. But we're going to have a, one more floor down below. And that will be where our reactor is. We're going to move it from over there to over here. And we're also going to get rid of uh, pretty much all of that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to curve these kind of in on the outside so it doesn't look so terrible. And so that will be a fun project. We're probably going to do that in a live stream. I'd like to do a live stream here pretty soon for all of that. But let's go get all of the vibranium here because all of our bees are gone. And I think it's time to do the, all the modium ones. Um... So yeah, let's do, maybe we wait for nighttime or if they all go in the beehive. Good. Come on, beehive. Okay. Oh, nope, two are out. Three are out. Okay, I guess we'll wait for them. They're all out. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out.